Well, hello there, and yes, we are looking at some high surf, some high rip current risk. That's going to be the main impact for the Florida coast. Also saw some rain in the Bahamas, some rain streaming its way up through the Carolinas. You see that outflow, but now we have two category one hurricanes. Look how quickly Umberto went from a three as we went into the overnight all the way down to a one as we went throughout this morning, really at the 11 o'clock update there. So we do have Hurricane Imelda, 80 mile per hour winds moving to the northeast at seven, and that's the good news there. You see that turn as expected. It made the turn through the overnight, and now it's going to be moving away from our coast. We're going to see high surf and high rip current risk still today and probably through tomorrow. And this is going to stretch its way up the coast probably until the second half of this week. So you see all the way up to the outer banks and this is because of both systems. But Imelda and you can see Bermuda there with that hurricane warning. That is because this is expected to be a category two storm. It's going to be relatively close. It could make landfall or maybe barely just brush it, but it's going to be close enough. We're going to have hurricane conditions as we go throughout the day on Wednesday, passing by late Wednesday evening and then starting to weaken as it moves this way up and out. So you have the combination of that and you can still see the proximity to the coast here. And same thing with Umberto, which is a one also 80, but moving to the north northwest at 18 miles an hour expected to make that turn around Bermuda as we go throughout today and through tomorrow. But again, you still see the proximity to the coast, so we're going to have high surf and high rip current risk maybe all the way up towards Boston as we go all the way through probably at least tomorrow. And then that'll start to go down Thursday and into Friday as both those systems move out.